what to do with a high maintenance client. Hi guys, so I have had my fair share of high maintenance clients in the past and I've noticed that like the more clients you get and the more experience you get, the less high maintenance the clients are because you manage their expectations from the start. So uh, let's say you know you do get that the, the odd high maintenance client or the client that expects so much more from you than what you were originally gonna like the amount of effort that you're gonna put in, and uh, you know you get a message off the client and he's not happy with what you've done. Uh, you know he's he, he's treating you like a sort of like virtual assistant and stuff like that. You don't like it. What to do? So uh, my biggest tip for like this situation is just pull rank. You know, you know, use the authority cards. You know, you're the one that's on social media every single day. You know, you should know uh, what's right and what's wrong. Um, so, for example, one of my first clients. Uh, oh no, it wasn't actually my first client. Uh, well, just a client that I had at the start. Um, he really wanted me to do Twitter for his uh, for his, his, his app, basically. And I said at the start, like right away when we had the introduction meeting, I said, listen, um, I'm more than willing to do Twitter for you, but I do have to mention that Twitter has peaked in 2009. And if you have not already got a big following on Twitter, then it will be really hard to actually leverage Twitter to get more sales for your, or more members on your app. He said he understood, he said, but he wanted to be omnipresent, which I understand. He saw Gary Vaynerchuk, um, know do a lot of tweets and all that and he wanted to sort of like emulate that again i mentioned that um, when you look at the comparison between gary vaynerchuk on instagram and twitter that his engagement is much higher on instagram but nevertheless um a few weeks down the line he noticed that i was tweeting once a day uh, this was automated but still once a day and he wanted me to do more tweets he wanted me to retweet all kinds of stuff he wanted me to reach out to people that are tweeting um like stuff that's relevant for him and in the end, he, he sent me like a big long message and it, like one of the last sentences was just do it in capital letters. And immediately I said like, um, you know, I take full responsibility for this, which you should because it's your client, you know, it is your responsibility to keep the client happy. I said, so I take full responsibility for this. However, you know, I do have to mention that I am the expert. I actually mentioned, said we, because at the time we already had a team member on us. So I said, we are the experts here. We are uh, people that you've called in to, uh, to get you sales. You know, we are the ones that are on social media every single day. We are always engaging on the platforms on a daily basis for our personal brand as well as the agency. You know, we've been coached by several social media marketing agencies or, you know, just mention like all the courses and whatever you've done. You know, make, make, make sure that they know that you're the one that's in charge. You're the expert. You're the one that's got the authority card, not them. You know, they're hiring you. So uh, mention that. And then say, with that being said, you know, we do want this relationship to last. You know, we do want to uh, keep working with you guys, even if you don't, you know, even if you, you don't feel like uh, it's going to be a right fit. You know, just always try and salvage the relationship and make sure that if you do go uh, your separate ways, that it doesn't end on bad terms because a bad review for your agency, uh, especially when starting out, that can be a really bad thing. You know, always try and keep it on good terms, always try and end the relationship on good terms as well. Like for example, we've actually, um, when we lost a client in May, we actually sent them uh, like a full month's worth of posts and captions for them to use. And in return, we actually got a really good testimonial that we use in our portfolio. And we actually landed a very big client because of that, uh, because of like, obviously that wasn't the only factor, but because we used that testimonial. Anyway, so, um, you know, make sure that you pull the authority card, make sure that he knows that, you, that you're going to take full responsibility for it, but that you are the expert and then try and salvage the relationship by either offer him something if he does leave you or by saying, okay, with that being said, you know, um, we can either, you know, put more time, you know, agree with them, or you can say, listen, uh, explain why you don't want to do it, or explain why it won't uh, be uh, a good fit for him. Like say, for example, in this case, it was Twitter, say that, that you are more than happy to spend uh, the amount of time on his uh, social media, but then that you'd much rather or highly recommend instead of spending the extra hour on Twitter, you know, spend the extra hour on Facebook ads or optimizing his Instagram or Facebook page. All right, guys, hope you got something out of it. A little bit of an anecdote slash tip in this video. Uh, like the video if you got something out of it. Comment down below, like, if you've got any questions regarding social media, marketing, personal branding, uh, earning money online, anything like that. Leave it in the comments down below and I'll do either a video on it or I'll send you like a direct message. Uh, also, like, if you can also send me a DM on Instagram. You know, I'm quite active on the gram, so make sure you follow me there. 
Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.